Learning Travel Credit Card Rewards If you could jet off to any corner of the globe tomorrow, where would your wanderlust take you? It's a question that ignites a spark in everyone, a chance to dream of far-off lands and new adventures. Picture yourself diving into the crystal-clear waters of the Mediterranean, or reuniting with a long-lost friend in a bustling city. Or perhaps you crave a break from the daily grind, seeking solace on the pristine beaches of Fiji. So, where would you go if you could leave tomorrow? The choice is yours, and the adventure awaits. So if you want to see more smash that like button and stick around for more. Chapter 1, Decoding Frequent Flyer Miles, How Do We Understanding the Value of a Miles? Determining the value of a mile in the world of frequent flyer miles can be a bit tricky. So let's break it down in simple terms. First things first, a frequent flyer mile doesn't always mean you've traveled one physical mile. Think of it as a form of currency that you earn and spend around the world. So why are they called miles? Well, when you earn miles, you usually get one mile for each mile you fly. For example, a flight from Boston to Los Angeles will earn you about 3,000 frequent flyer miles. But, the exciting thing is now you can earn miles based on how much money you spend in categories. Travel, shopping, gas, groceries, and so much more. Stick around if you want to learn more. When it comes to using your miles, the distance traveled doesn't really matter. A standard domestic flight costs around 25,000 miles, which is equivalent to the distance around the equator. So having 25,000 miles doesn't mean you can travel 25,000 miles. It's important to remember that not all frequent flyer miles are the same. Just like different currencies are not all the same. The value of your miles depends on what you can buy with them. So what the heck am I saying? Stand by for an example that will explain it all. For example, if you receive two credit card offers with a sign-up bonus of 25,000 points, you need to calculate the value per mile to see which offer is better. Divide the cash value of the reward by the number of miles redeemed. Rewind this back and write this part down. So, the next time you're looking at your frequent flyer miles, remember that they're more than just a measure of distance. They're a currency that will help you travel the world. I think you're ready to start unlocking the world and earning millions of frequent flyer miles from the comfort of your couch, so stick around. Chapter 2, Where to Begin, First, Focus on the Sign-Up Bonus. The sign-up bonus is the most important thing to look for. You want cards offering at least 50,000 miles as a sign-up bonus. But it is just as important to prioritize cards that earn transferable points, like Chase Ultimate Rewards. Let's take a look at the current Chase Sapphire sign-up bonuses. Chase Sapphire card is a number one must-have in your wallet. Their points can be used with multiple airlines and hotels, giving you incredible flexibility. They transfer points at a one-to-one -one ratio. Don't run away yet. You need the rest of the secrets. While spending rewards are valuable, they often pale in comparison to the points earned from sign-up bonuses. Don't forget to factor in the annual fee, which can range from $40 to $550. Many cards waive the fee for the first year, allowing you to test drive the card for free or if you're active duty military you may be able to have the fee waived. Comment below if you're interested in a video about military extras. Make sure you can meet the minimum spending requirement is crucial to receiving your sign-up bonus. Always ensure you can meet the minimum before applying for a new card. There are ways to do this which I will describe in another video. When you're ready to sign up today for a Chase Sapphire card, be sure to click the link in the description or on this screen. So, are you ready to start earning millions of frequent flyer miles and unlocking the world of travel hacking? Stay tuned for more tips and tricks on maximizing your credit card rewards. Make sure you like and subscribe and join us on this journey.